Well, boys, we spent most of today at or above $5 per share in Medical Properties Trust stock ticker MPWW. So <clears throat> we are continuing our march onward toward oblivion for the short sellers in this stock. Steward is potentially approaching an end game scenario. And uh, I think we closed actually right around 499 per share. But still, this is quite encouraging. The stock is not having the big bleed offs after an initial pump like it used to. And it seems that there's just simply more buyers than sellers out there for MPW most days lately. The last data point I have on a short interest in the stock is that it is still 40% plus shorted with 235 million shares sold short. Um, I was told there could be some new data coming out shortly on this particular data point that would tell us what the current number is. I'm very curious to see if short interest has gone up or down the last couple of weeks. If it has gone up while the stock prices continue to go up, then this is possibly a sign that we will get the squeeze that was promised. <clears throat> However, this is not a pure squeeze play. There are things that are simply playing out and unfolding the way that we had kind of been speculating that they could. Steward is, after all, approaching its end game and honestly being decoupled from the failing Steward Healthcare is going to do a lot to sort of um, make MPW a little bit less smelly by association, so to speak. Right now, being tied up with Steward, which is in Chapter 11, kind of at, like there, some of Steward's stink is rubbing off on MPW. That's what's going on. And, um, you know, after they put some distance between themselves and Steward, and, uh, you know, no longer have Steward renting any of their properties, etc. The stink of Steward will fade over time. The reason that we say Steward is approaching something of an endgame is the, the financial situation that they're in. They continue to simply burn money month after month. In fact, um, they basically burned through uh, the dip financing that they were given. And just in the current month, they burned almost $40 million in reorganization costs. Um, I would speculate that this means that the like lawyers and such are just kind of all gorging themselves while Stewart just sits there and flops around like a fish on dry land, so to speak. And of course, uh, Ralphie Pooh refuses to testify in Congress and... Um, he probably just wants to chill on his yacht. Who knows what's going to happen to him after all of this is done. But yeah, Steward burned $76 million this month. And basically, once they have no more cash, it's kind of game over for them. They can't really, um, they can't filibuster or delay or anything anymore if they don't have the money to keep their doors open. So... That's probably why they've been a lot more amenable lately to sort of come to a bit of an agreement with MPW on what happens with the Space Coast hospitals and then the operations for all remaining MPT facilities. It's because they don't really have a whole lot of choice but to play ball with whatever MPW comes up with. Because at the end of the day, one of the big considerations at play with Steward's collapse is the facilities staying open and um, continuing to provide care for patients whose lives could be, you know, not only disrupted, but also at risk of even continuing with these disorderly sort of shutdowns that could happen. So there is, it seems like a plan in place to transition to interim operators. And I'm guessing MPT has other operators lined up for the majority of the facilities with potential rents and such um, ready to be, uh, you know, 
signed on with a new lease. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the FFO situation looks like after transitioning away from Steward and into new operators on a lot of these facilities. Everybody, of course, wants to know what is the current value of Medical Properties Trust? Well, <clears throat> they're currently trading at less than half of their book value. So on that basis, it would be about a $10 stock. Now, a normal valuation, assuming they don't have a tenant in Chapter 11 and all of that stuff, and that their their credit rating is back to investment grade and, and um, you know some things like that are sorted out and we're not, not looking at this debt wall anymore, maybe rates are a little lower, you could see 1.2, 1.25 times book value as a more normal um, price to book, which would make it like a $12 stock, maybe a $13 stock. Um, I've had people in the Discord looking at the FFO numbers and saying like once Steward is swapped out uh, for other operators, maybe the multiple of FFO makes it actually closer to a $15 stock. Uh, and when I first got in, my assessment was maybe it's a $14 stock. And we're almost from this level, that's kind of splitting hairs as to whether it's 10, 12, 14, 15, whatever. It's certainly, I would say, worth more than um, the current share price indicates. I think that the market is slowly inching towards that realization. And with all of the short interest in there, once the market does kind of start to realize it and then the shorts realize it, then, you know, that's when we get our special little reward. However, there's still some caution, you know, um, thing, unexpected things can happen. The steward situation is approaching resolution, but is by no means actually 100% resolved at this point. Um, and, you know, there's still the, the situation with Prospect, the, the, the Yale New Haven situation in Connecticut and such. And uh, Norwood, I believe, is actually still ongoing in spite of the fact that recent decisions have been um, favorable for MPW. So there's there are still some unknowns out there. And I hesitate to start the celebration early, but I think signs still point to this being undervalued today and towards us getting rewarded for our patience relatively soon. While very few things are certain in these markets, what is certain is that signing up for Moomoo using my exclusive link will get you 8.1% APY and up to 15 free stocks. Now that's a heck of a bargain. I'll tell you what, I recently downloaded Moomoo and I found that the number of indicators that they have for trading absolutely blows out of the water anything else that I've seen, especially in a brokerage that is free. So you don't have to pay any kind of fee. Also, the margin rates are only 6.8%. For those of you in my community that like to use a little bit of leverage, this is cheaper than most of your traditional brokerages like Schwab or Fidelity, and also cheaper than some paid services like Robinhood Gold and M1 Plus, which I have experience with all of these types of services. So I would definitely encourage you to Follow my exclusive link in the description below and take advantage of the benefits of Moomoo. If you have made it to the end of today's video, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for continuing to support the channel. Make sure that you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 3000 subscribers. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can, of course, uh, as I mentioned before, sign up for a Moomoo account as we have a partnership with them. And if you use my link, it helps support the channel. Also, make sure that you're liking the videos for the algorithm. I mean, if you made it through, you obviously like it, right? So that'll help push it out to more people, etc. Also, join the Discord. This is free in the link in the description. This is where we discuss stocks and everything related to investing, business, career, anything you can think of. We're discussing it every single day. A lot of very smart people in the Discord. That's absolutely free, and I will never, ever, ever charge you for it. Also, please 
catch me every Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, Cashflow Kings Live. Link in the description there as well. And follow me on the X platform at Mr. Macho Mog. Links, as always, in the description. Take it easy, everyone.